Hello everyone and welcome back to Lakeside and uh, this is really the final conclusion of the um, Backman 4 SEP um, which I bought the other week um, and as you may be aware I have gone through it and changed the primarily all the lighting in it that was the major job uh, because I really wasn't happy with the existing lighting in it uh, the first or the last and the first coach were um, very dim and the middle two coaches were a bit brighter but during the day like now uh, you really couldn't tell whether the lights were on or not which looking through other people's videos who have got this and the other iterations in different liveries um, have all been saying the same that the lighting was very poor in it um, and taking it apart I can see why um, in this coach here for instance there was two LEDs one here and one here and there was like a transfer tube in the roof which reflected or <laughs> supposed to reflect the lighting throughout the coach but it, it didn't really do it so I put my own lighting in using LED strips um, and uh, wired it up independently of the existing wiring um, and now I've got a uniform lighting right the way through of all coaches all been the same intensity and what I've done you can see the lights up there I've put some orange translucent paint from Tamiya on the LEDs to give the orange glow which you would have seen in those days unlike modern day equipment which is a, a bright white light um, these are more of a yellow orangey colour because of the bayonet type bulbs they were used <laughs> and obviously uh, sometimes it was due to the nicotine on the on the bulbs themselves from the smokers but hopefully that gives a more realistic um, look to the coaches now and I can see that they're on during the daytime which it is. Uh, I've also painted the corridors brown instead of white in here this coach for instance and the next coach so all the inside is now like a brown mahogany colour um, and I've also put some people in as well which you can see um, as they go through Now I've just got a few little bits to do um, and one of them being I've got a cable showing here in the brake van which is from the LED so I can hide that a bit better than that um, and something which I can't do is to hide up the decoder and the motor in this part of the leading car um, again that's another criticism from other people who have got this that they can see the motor just here with my finger motor just there and the decoder just here but there's absolutely nothing I can do about that really um, I suppose I could put somebody in the way standing that might obscure it a bit I might do that um, I don't know but anyway it's all sorted now it runs a dream no flickering on the lights and also what I've done is that doing some research on Google I don't know if this is going to be picking up but the white board at the end um, on the earlier 
seps it looked like they were white um, but then on others they were red and I think that perhaps it looked like on the videos that the later ones had those changed to red I might be wrong on that but um, a lot of them were white um, and then some of them were red and certainly on the later ones where they changed the livery um, they were all red so I guess there was a, a change over period where they were making these boards at the end here red if I cover my hand over the light there um, you can see that it's shining red again using some um, transparent red Tamiya paint on the inside not the outside but on the inside um, I've managed to make that red just a little thing might be right might be wrong don't know but as I say looking at archive footage then certainly some of the green British Rail seps had that as red some were white as I said so it looks like there was a change over period at some point but as regards the lighting I'm really happy with this it's come out a treat especially with the um, brown corridors not on there but on here and with people inside although you can't see them very well because um, the people tend to sit behind these pillars here they're not actually sitting in front of the window they sit sort of further back so they're actually shielded by the pillar of the window but they are there you can see them here so let's see it running okay so I'll turn the camera off and set it on a tripod and then you can see it running round well actually I'll start it running now and then put it on the tripod so bear with me and it does run so smoothly Okay, <clears throat> I'll pop it on the tripod and we'll come back to you. 